momentarily giving yield to turn it on. Back to the top is Jenna's first lady. She leads as they race toward the half mile mark. Racing second down the backside is turn it on. Behind her, third as they approach the half mile mark. Still Honeysuckle Hall, fourth behind her at the half mile marker is Ruby's Beach. As they reach that station, they're being led by the Jenna's Beach Boy Philly, Jenna's First Lady. Heitman sends her past the half and 58-2 into the upper turn. Second, getting the journey there is Turn It On. Third, moving on the outside, Honeysuckle Hall. The Canvas Philly and Morgan out and driving were third, now second. Fourth behind her is Ruby's Beach. On the inside five, as they race toward the uh, three-quarter mile station, is Carnival Hanover. Outside next, as they're at that mark, is Rodeo Queen, and still trailing at the three-quarter mile mark is Finish First Fancy. All in contention, their past three quarters, 127-2. Heitman has the advantage by a length as they turn for home. And on the inside with the lead as they turn down the lane, Jenna's First Lady. They're fanned out four wide behind the leader, trying to move up still as they head this way as Honey Suckle Hall. Jenna's first lady, Honeysuckle Hall, now joining that pair, comes, turn it on. Here comes, turn it on, with authority on the outside. On the inside, Jenna's first lady, outside, turn it on. And John Campbell win it. Jenna's first lady was two, home three. Honeysuckle Hall, four. To Ruby's Beach, Rodeo Queen was five. Six was finished first fancy. Seven is Carnival Hanover. Here's the winner of that race for pacing fillies after a patient drive by John Campbell. On by K.A. Prince, by J.C. Smith, by G.M. Fortino, trained by Ed Prince. Turn it on, John Campbell. Turn it on, handily on this one, a two-year-old Jake Lobel filly from Turn the Table by Abercrombie, bred by Meadowlands Farm of Meadowlands, Pennsylvania. Trophy presentation by Kareen Wood in just a moment. And that trophy presentation now to the connections of Turn It On by our Lieutenant Governor. We appreciate the visit to the DuCoin State Fair by Lieutenant Governor Wood. And we appreciate her spending her afternoon in a 90 plus degree sun-baked victory lane at the DuCoin State Fair. There he is, the leading money-winning driver in the history of harness racing, Hall of Famer John Campbell, and turn it on.